Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? What a wild game, congrats. <laughs> lots <laughs> lots <laughs> of kills, but mostly black. You should kill at least one group. Yeah, for... <laughs> I couldn't quite. For the I audience. Kept, I kept being about one stone off in my yeah, reading. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so close, huh? Actually, a, a few fights went pretty well. Let's have a quick look. The beginning sure. was interesting. Uh, maybe you should pass me control. Mm, or I have I do that again? Oh, wait. I have no idea. There you go. Thank you. So, this is just sicky. Mm, you don't have to honey. You better bump. Oh, okay. Then take the vital point. Fix the corner. And keep center. And now being center, you can just attack the bottom group. It's a three handicap. You have those three corners in place. Now four already. So, you're looking good. So, I have to click on the finish. Yeah, this one. This already feels a little bit good for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you invested all those stones and it's barely one eye. Right. So now you got to play the pincer that's fighting spirit. Well, you can peep here once. Actually, you can do that later. And at some point, uh, Captain Metmo uh, advised you to play R14. Yeah, that, that peep works too when you have stones around Q10. So you can reduce. But anyway, pincer was good. So the actual game then counter pincer kosumi you can uh kick once oh just make it heavy this. yeah yeah okay it's a bit cramped usually you don't play the kick when i have a three space extension but having a two space extension you can kick once okay tenuki is good well i expected you to play here chicken style but i forgot who i'm playing against the the brave daniel <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it's good to play away Actually, you can just play a sun and say. Oh, I thought I really thought about yeah. it. I did. I thought anyway, about it's, it. it's also okay. It's it's a big point to play in the top right corner. So normally, if I play in the middle of the side, you can attack from the right side to get even stronger. Then when I play on the left, you just induce the defense of the top left corner. So mm -hmm. if I play the three space jump, you invade, then you protect something like this. So you get to develop the right and get stronger and also secure the left and then you can play another move. This feels too good for back. That's why I play the the corner approach. Here I expected a pincer. You can try. Okay. And then if a double approach, probably I will play a double Hakari. I have to, it's a handicap game. Mm -hmm. It's too easy to, to go in the corner, I guess. I mean, the choice is clear. You just separate, then you go for the top side again. Mm -hmm. and it becomes pretty large now on the left side you don't have a problem because if I go C17 you jump C11 and if I play C11 or C12 you can play San San but now you're center and you're probably came on here to expand the moil then I need to enter the top you immediately attach once in center and then try something like this completely different game yeah. anyway so uh, you took another corner this can be bad Mm, this move leaves an invasion point at Q8. So if you want to extend on the right side, just do space jump. But okay. you can also try this kind of move. So next you can go R14. Now, for example, if I play something here or the left side, you can play this move. Gotcha. Well, I'm still alive in the corner, so that looks more like endgame, but at least you have a follow-up. Actually, now you should play something in the top. From this move, you can invade. So next, probably I jump or slide and protect. And then extend on the left side. This looks really good. Okay. That's why I play here. I mean, in the middle of the left side. Of course, here I can play all kind of shoulder hits to be uh, trendy. Well, if I take Sun Sun, you just extend. Mm -hmm. So it feels good. But when I play the middle like this, you don't have to approach all the way. This looks a bit strange. You, yeah, I even you commented. I'm like, he's gonna he's gonna say something about that shoulder hit <laughs> or the armpit hit. The, yeah. <laughs> the the thing is, if you play a move like that and I just block, then you have to come up or down. Mm. Well, I didn't want to block right away because it, it feels like you already had a stone in place, and then I play a shoulder hit, and if I play away and you play another move, then I can still react. So the left side will be quite small. Mm -hmm. But later when I block it, it felt good. Yeah, this is fighting spirit. 
Nice. Normally just bump and protect the corner. Then play away. This is another big point. Because you in, uh, in close the corner, you get like 15 points there, then you can invade the top. So I gotta play here. Okay. But so far it's still peaceful. Nothing died. Uh, I don't think you can play that move. You gotta no be here. Okay. And you should because uh, you're going to increase the moyo like that. Gotcha. So let's say we have all these moves on the board, double honey, then you extend, I extend, and then you play something like this. So there's a, a moyo coming up. This was too much, too many cutting points. And now, yeah, mm, yeah difficult. Normally you gotta play here, but yeah. then I honey, then I honey again. This fight white. went good for white, yeah. Yeah. And instead of playing this move, you should connect solid. Then I need another move, so you don't play Atari, Atari, and go out. Gotcha. And you're already connected, because when you play the Atari, you fix my problem. That's a doctor move, a thank you move, and you still have to protect your cutting points. Mm -hmm. You gotta come back here, and now I'm center. And in the actual game, you try it really hard. Ah, oh, yeah, you leave it like this, and then you try that Q2. But hmm. Yeah, usually you in the turn corner one is more too big, yeah. And then this, it's center, and now you play away. You should block here, or push once, and then connect under with Kamo. Because there's a Maji around E5, so like this, you just defend in advance. The, the problem here is that when you just block and you give me the two stones, you don't have any, any call threat in the corner, like this. Gotcha. But if you turn once, and this happens later in the game when we fight some big call, you have this Atari as a threat. So imagine I, I cannot answer, so you, you just kill the corner. Mm -hmm. It's good to prepare threats like that. So instead of playing that move, you should push one more time and then Kema or this kind of combination. Okay. And cap to be aggressive and try to, but well, it's gonna be hard to catch that group. Anyway, the turn felt very good for White at E11 later on. Yeah. So this was surprising. Well, I'm happy to catch these three stones. The leather works, or it's good enough to net. Yeah, you can just. Net. I was relying on the net. Yeah. yeah. This was a bit too ambitious. You should you should just capture this guy. And later okay. think about connecting. I'm, I'm not going to separate. It's too small right now. Gotcha. And also it's too small for you to connect. Anyway, you connect and those three stones die because of the damage somewhere in the corner. Yeah. But you did well to play. When I play the honey, you play it here. That's good. So normally, what you do on this one? Go down or protect. Now we have a call. Yeah. To kill everything. But <laughs> I prefer to kill the, the four stones because, well, you play inside many times, so... Mm -hmm. And I also got the profit by taking the three stones, so this fight was already plus for white. And I don't even need to play Atari here, because uh, if you try to connect like later on, it's still dumb at Sumari. Yep. So you can't save everything. So like this, I will never die with the top group. You tried hard to kill it with N4 and so on, but I can always catch the stone while... Mm -hmm. uh, L2, it's available. So turn. Yeah, normally on this turn, you gotta jump like this. Okay. And then it's over concentrate to, to get rid of the Tessujet C13 or go down. Okay. Yeah, but this shows fighting spirit. Well, this move doesn't really work. Uh, normally you gotta protect here somehow. Yeah, uh, I realized it a peak. little too late. Oh, and then, and then just here, then connect, and then I jump out again. Probably still a long game. Huh? I have small territories everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, this was a little minus. Oh, here I overplayed. I should pull back. Yeah. And then you connect, I connect, and you cover, and I capture the stone. Yep. Oh, and again, you need to come back here and protect. Why did I cut? This was greedy. Hmm. My thinking was that you're going to be greedy too. And then I double <laughs> attack. And then I cover and there is no co. 
<laughs> right, right. Yeah. This was no, good for you. K16. Connect, yeah. yeah. I didn't even look. I mean, once I captured, I realized, oops, my three stones die. So, well. Yeah, this is a key point. Uh, you should pull back, I guess. Okay. Or after this one, make shape. And then I need to protect in the middle and you can still cut. Uh, oh. Online tourneys like uh, the Corona Cup. Yes, I'm going to play that. I registered the other day. And yesterday I also played a, a game in the Corona League. with uh, some kind of master league. We are a bunch of uh, top European players who play in that uh, event. So we playing those games on KGS. And I beat Lukas Podbera in a very spectacular fashion. Yeah, we have a Corona Cup. You should check the European Go Federation uh, page for the link. Oh, I can give you the link. Just a second. Uh, okay. This one. So. Now the fun part started here, huh? Yeah. I mean, that's a bit small, was... but okay. You, you want it to stay alive, I guess. Trying to pull something this off in fine. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I try too hard this way. Um, hang on. I, th I think you could do better than capture the important stones in this fight. Yeah, the Nostis Suji feels good. But probably you have to push here first. Okay. Ah. The problem is... I can still sacrifice and and go for the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, the Gnostic Suji felt good. So the thing is, if I try to capture, I mean, to keep my uh, stones alive on the left, then you have this net. But I never take away that liberty. Yeah, we're probably going to play many uh, online tournaments from now on. Yesterday I got an email about um, joining a team championship between Europe and China. But there are already many players interested in that, so I'll probably pass. Too many events going on. Yeah, so now, now I build the center. Well, jumping here feels natural, but you need to play this move, actually. Okay. Because the, the cut works, I mean, I have those liberties, the ladder is broken. That's why I played all 10, so no ladders in this area. Gotcha. If I don't do that, you play Atari here and it works. All right. Yeah, I failed to see the meaning of O10 <laughs> for the ladders yeah, well, in the bottom. O10, yeah. it's, it's not only about the ladders, but I'm check, I'm trying to, to get some um, thickness in the middle so I can fight better if I come out at H6. But then it felt good to cut. Gotcha. And now, yeah, it's difficult. Hard to live inside here. It felt close huh? all the time. But yeah, that double Atari can hurt. Maybe you don't have to care about those stones and try something here. So if I block, you have Atari and then you capture three stones. Uh, okay. But I, I'm not going to block. I will probably play this one or connect. Then you try to come out in this direction. Yeah. Uh, going for the other two stones. So you have a chance to keep fighting. But it's hard to catch that group on the left side because I always leave like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And still not alive in the middle. Huh? Right. Yeah, difficult. And it's hard to connect out as well. Yep. Yeah, K K12, it's a Tesuji locally, but it doesn't always work. Well, unless you play like this. But I'm not going to allow this Atari, so I just connect solid. Because this is where Black wants to go next, Atari and Capture. And now, yeah, it's finished. I could probably just play solid here, take away Liberty or Capture the Stone. I don't know which leaves less RG, probably take right away is better. Because if like, like this, you don't get to play uh, forcey moves in the center, right? Like it happened in the game. This kind of move is not the center anymore. Mm -hmm. But with this move L12, 
I'm thinking, okay, I build uh, more territory because you die inside. And maybe later when I surround that N13, I'll grab a few extra points. G greedy style. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now when you play that nobi, the stones in the center are in trouble. And well, yeah, you can connect I I under connect. Like you, right. you can, but then you die in the center. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you're trying to kill my top group, then I have the uh, backup plan at K2. I thought I could connect my middle stones to the right fairly easily, but uh, it just it almost work worked. <laughs> yeah, it almost worked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I don't think you have time for this move to connect on the right. Yeah, you I should should've... play Atari here. Yeah, and then yeah. this kind of move for ice. Uh huh. Uh, the problem right is away. if I try something here. Oh wait, I can still kill. Uh, yeah, I hmm. was looking at. Maybe... Well, I have to pay attention because I lose. I'm losing eyes, so I need to play something in the top. Right. Yeah, I cannot play like this. You have Atari, and then you have this move, and then you cut one yeah, way or the other. I was looking at how to get O9 and Sente, and I just couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Or one, excuse once me. You connect, yeah. O9. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. O9 is the move. Oh, you can play it now after you connect here. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I need to play. I need to push once. Huh? And then connect. Yeah. Yeah, but then when you live in the middle, you lose something on the side. Right, exactly. Still not great. But in fact, it's hard to, to come back this game. After you play, uh, you lose this dragon in the middle, the H13 group. Yeah, it's like 40 points behind already <laughs> after that. So. Yeah. I didn't even check the score, but that's my favorite tool here. Now, white plus 35, but how was at the end when everything died? Ooh, 108? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let, let's forget <laughs> this game quickly. <laughs> no, it's right. totally okay. This was, this was good. Well, um, P P3 instead of R3. Uh, let me check. What about P3? Yeah, I didn't check the score because I knew the dragon is good enough to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. finish it. So P3, what about P3? I think they're talking uh -huh. about one of the variations. Or... Your move, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you cut. Ah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, you should, yeah. Instead of playing this, you can just cut now. And then I have mm -hmm. to capture. Like this, you mean? Well, if the leather is good, I don't capture, I play. And the leather is fine, no? Oh, instead of R3. Oh, you just get more this way with P3. You mean this? Black, right? Yeah, but the thing is, when you play here, you remove a liberty, you capture an extra stone. Yeah, well, there is a little bit of danger when white plays Atari here and then connect. But uh, black yeah. wins the semi. So... Black doesn't have to worry about the corner. And the thing is, it's good to take away the liberty at P3, because uh, if the ladder doesn't work and you can come out, but okay, in this case, the ladder works. Yeah, it goes into E10, but let's suppose the ladder doesn't work, then I have to play here and then you turn. So you can save those stones. That's why it's good to take away the liberty at P3. But in the actual game, it was even better, no? For me, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to connect under here is too greedy. You should just take the stone. Gotcha. So Captain Metmo is saying that R3 connect under for safety. If it's got it, you better go for the extra points. So you capture like this. Are you going to play some more games? Uh, yeah, I definitely. Can, I definitely. can watch you one Fuseki. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Cool. Yeah, it looks safer, but taking the stone is good. Yeah, let, let's beat somebody with good style. Okay. <laughs> Over 200 points win. That's how we validate a, a good session. If it's under 200 points, then we play uh, two week. We need a Japanese player. <laughs> so they die all over. Now I think the Chinese and the Koreans are the Stop crazy ones. You if you play a Japanese player, you win by 10 points. But it depends. Oh, so you beat that four down guy again? 
Uh, well, that is just in a that one one game I beat the four down. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I thought there was a new game against the four down on IGS where you won. Right. So I I usually mm -hmm. post on YouTube like about a week or so after. Oh okay um, okay. I saw some posts on Twitch, Facebook. So yeah. Thought. Yep. And I thought it's a new a new win. All right. So you started one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I gotta leave in like 10-15 minutes, so okay. let's see how well, you, how well you start. As black you don't start double sun sun, only as white? Only as white, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. As black is the old fashioned Fuseki. For sure. And now white should, yeah. Here I like to play Q11, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Many players like that move from Dosaku era. It's a really old pincer. Yeah, the bots like it too. Actually, the bots here, they like M18 instead of M17. That's a move that feels like you're falling off the board. I play it sometimes, but every time I play it, I lose a game. So <laughs> I don't really understand how that works. <laughs> oh. Yeah, playing on the third line is fine. And now the bots like to Tenuki here. Because white is very hard to, to be attacked. Those three stones are quite resilient. Gotcha. So why should play... Oh, okay. I was thinking of maybe N4 shorter hit. So get ahead. This guy, it's a solid 1Q. On Tai Gem, you're back to 1 down? Yep, back to 1 down on Tai Gem. Good. Then now you, you got to... Come back to one down here and then one down I just Yeah, I'm not too then you're far away. Then here. then five Four down games. I just <laughs> <laughs> Four games here. And I just yeah. is what? Four Q now? Uh no, I haven't been playing on my lower ranked account on IGS too much. Mm. Oh, okay. Just on the airbag account. I see. So White wants to push here and then cut M18 and then capture uh, the two stones in the corner. You can refute that by playing a bump at Q17 or uh, jump J17 or turn L16. I, I'm not sure about that Q17 so much, even though that when you play Q17, you lose some points in the corner because he goes R18, but then you have the cut at P15. Anyway, jumping J17 is nice because he puts your head. So... Gotcha. You're making some more points, and then when he pushes uh, N17, you block. If he cuts M18, you can connect O18 or P18, and nothing happens anymore. No, this I... is a free game. Yeah, it's a free game. And I'm only watching the Fuseki, then you kill the rest. So far, we kill nothing. We, we just kill time in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Killing time to stay alive. So next time we gotta play on four handicap. Yeah, uh, oh, I mean... you should you should push you should push P eleven actually. Uh, okay. But you can still do that now. <laughs> no, I'm not sad when nothing uh, dies. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, what next? Jump, extend, be brave. I know you want to take away the base, but. It's a bit risky. Well, I'm attempted to attach at Q14, actually. <laughs> or like wow. something like that. Yeah, that's, that's something. Yeah, Let, let's play that. It's good. I like this idea. Tsuke like a boss. And now if you Hane under, what you do? Cross cut. Counter Hane. Go up. I think he'll Hane up P14. Yeah, yeah. And then if you pull back, but probably you don't pull back. You play counter Hane, you play Hane under R15. Yeah, and if exactly. he goes Atari, or I don't know, what's the, the exact plan? If he cuts, you go out. If he captures a stone, you cut from behind. This can be tough for white. Good. Splendid Tesuji Q14. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's see what <clears> happens. <throat> like I, I have trouble reading more than like seven. Uh, two or moves two. ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, okay, I'm getting okay, better sorry. than that, but <laughs> sometimes I have trouble three D more than two. But I know what you mean. Well, in a fight like this, it's okay to to read more than four moves or five. I don't know. Right. But most of the times it's reflex, right? You just throw a stone on the board and hope that it will survive. Yeah, I do so a lot of obvious. <laughs> instinctual play, but I am I am doing more reading, and my instincts are pretty strong. So, yeah, that's good. Or they're getting stronger at least. I agree with that. So now he goes down, and then what? We cut. Yeah. Or maybe he maybe he pulls back to sixteen. Then again, you cut. Mm -hmm. So this feels successful for Black. And then the, like if white manages to separate the Q11 stones, they're, they're still pretty mm. hard to kill. Oh yeah. I think. But if he, if he goes down R13, can you cut right away? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. So it's difficult for him to, mm -hmm. to separate those guys. And if he connects P13, you can still connect under. Oh, I don't see your board. How it's flashing in the background. Oh, okay, now I do. <laughs> Actually, you guys, this Very is distracting. A, <laughs> a cut. It's a custom build by a, a local woodworker. Helped me build it, and then I installed the electronics. I actually did refinish it myself. Um, Spectacular. Yeah, you can't get it on Amazon. Amazon, it's one of a kind. One of a kind. <laughs> We got the thinker this time. Maybe he's checking all the bots left in the house without any kind of virus. Um, your nine wins, eight losses is good. So now, what's the first instinct? Cut or connect under? Uh, my instinct is actually to connect under because I expect mm. White will want to save the two stones anyway. But yeah, I but think... the thing is, if you cut, if you cut P13, then you have a follow-up. You can also cut P15 after that. Ah, uh, right, right. That is better. So, even if he goes Atari, uh, he might, but maybe he goes down. He might play Atari O13 just to give you a bad shape, but he still has to come back and fix the problem. Mm -hmm. And then you take Sente, because if you just connect under R13, you're got it. Like this, you might take right. Sente. If you play this, he goes up, and then you attack the right side. You want to play a stone at Q7 first. So these kind of decisions are important in Fuseki. Sure. How to, to take center to grab the big point faster than your opponent. That can make you a higher done. Yeah. Not a lucky not a lucky done. Well, you're not <laughs> done anyway. <laughs> but by birth. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. So you're you're Daniel zero one or one hundred one. Uh it's uh, <laughs> ML, actually, is my middle name know, and last name. All oh, right, right, right. <laughs> it's I funny, know, whenever I visit an artist... It, it's like 101. <laughs> yep. Whenever I visit an artist stream, they call me Daniel M. Lol. <laughs> LOL. Like, laugh out loud. <laughs> ah, right. <yeah. laughs> so, 101 done. That's the, there we the go. ultimate <laughs> rank. Yeah. They don't have a tournament for that yet. Judan means 10 done, but 101 done. Okay, so he went up as expected. So now, if he goes down R13, you can still cover uh, Q12 and kill him. But, well, it's going to be a heavy shape. But it's good to capture the... I mean, to take away the extension, Q7. Uh -huh. Also, would be nice to push once O13 if you get a chance, and then Hane. And 14. But this feels important because he could make a base at Q6. Right. Now, if he plays Atari like that, 
you go Atari under R13 to keep connected. And when he captures one stone, you just go out between the groups. Nope. Fool, that hurts. So his maneuver failed completely. It's always nice to separate this way. Sure. And now P9 is super heavy. The other group looks like thinness instead of thickness. That was supposed to be some thick formation, the N16 wall. Mm -hmm. But it might even die in the future. But move to 120. <laughs> right. <laughs> you just After need all to the fighting on the rest of the board happens, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I just that's extend brave, huh? up. Yeah. Extend up or honey. Yeah, separate. Go up. P7. Yeah. I should actually study the game more. I've seen so many new moves recently. And they the, the top pros start playing the uh, high and tight Shimar instead of the uh, loose one recently. I noticed that. Interesting. Replaying some of the uh seo games and also the japanese top players they are doing that but they used to be very fond of playing the ikentobi shimari a lot mm -hmm. i mean in the past too well i'm going to play a game with my daughter a little later she's 15 q oh nice and she's going to beat me on five handicap easily <laughs> otherwise she won't play me again <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. I never beat my daughter. Uh, okay. So you have several options here. Uh, you go up O7, you go down R7. He wants to play R7. She doesn't really play. She plays only once a year in the uh, European Championship for, I don't know, a few games. I mean, she, she likes to play those all Japanese ladies who are 17 Q and she's happy to capture their stones and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can cover here. Huh? Yeah, the so, so, so my daughter is like 13 Q. But she can play better than that. Okay, now he wants to connect under or to kill you on the right side, but that's going to be difficult. So how about we try a fancy move. Actually, no, play, play a proper move. Just go down. Oh, just R10. No, the other. Oh. Ah, that's good too. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 70 Q old ladies, yeah. I meant 17, but okay. <laughs> they, they are 70 and 17. Uh, okay, now wedge, huh? R8. Mm -hmm. If that was the plan. I thought you go down R7, then when he tries to kill you on the right, you come up uh, with N7. Oh, now you link under. <laughs> when you're 70 Q and 70 years old, then it's fun. You come to the European <laughs> Go Congress, take some pictures of young kids removing all your stones. It happens, yeah. But probably we're not going to play the European Championship this summer. But we'll see how the crisis will be solved. Or maybe we are going to play online from now on. 2020 turns into Internet Go. How do they how do they manage the potential for people to cheat with the online tournaments? Is it just no idea? Maybe they will have to stream their screen. Mm -hmm. and have the webcam on and always show the hands that they click on the mouse <laughs> only when they, <laughs> I don't know. There should be some ways. This doesn't seem. Oh, this, for... yeah, that's a problem. Go out, push. Oh, then, yeah, there are ways to, to cheat. Honey, <clears throat> 
you're not going to die on the right side, so because those four stones die faster. Now what? I'm, Let's see your ins your instincts here. I'm tempted Cut and push. to M10 and then go to M9 and surround the group on a large scale. L L which? Sorry. Uh, Mary L Mary 10 and then ah that way and then push. Up. Yeah. How how about you play L11? White connects and makes a bad empty triangle shape. Then you know be M13, so you're attacking the bottom group as well. Uh -huh. But I mean, it's okay to play that, that thing too. Push and push again, and then try to catch those stones. Well, let's try your way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do that. Ghost come. I just need to to figure out a, a good schedule for starting to stream again. I've been crazy busy recently. After I, I've done with the ski season, I had lots of lessons. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be interesting. But it's very dist I mean, it's distracting to to play a serious game and stream in the same time. Daniel can tell. That's how he puts himself <laughs> in Atari often. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we can do That's that true. as a fun event. Because anyway, these training league games are just fun games. Yesterday I was playing the game, and in the meantime, I, I also played the. Uh, a poker tournament that I lost, but at least I won the go game. So, anyway, uh, push and cut. That's good. Not nice idea. So yeah, the next games, I'll have to see when I can uh, stream them. How about you, Atari, and connect, like M15 and N14, so you separate the right group, and then you connect under at K17. See what I mean? Yep. Timing. And these days, uh, uh, both my wife and my uh, daughter are home. So many times I'm very distracted here. No school. No bars, no nothing. Oh yeah, that's an option too. Uh, wait, if we connect, it takes... Yeah, you should connect now at K17. And oh. then make nice shape in the middle. Gotcha. Because if uh, white cuts now, you have Atari, then Atari, then Killor. Mm -hmm. Recently, I'm, I'm recording lots of... Uh, uh, game reviews that I post unlisted on my YouTube channel because those are private. Well, I share some of them. Mo most of these games are 1011Q. But lots of variations. That's, nice. that's my new product. <laughs> Reviewing uh, the games and recording them with uh, OBS instead of typing. I bet it's a lot easier to just talk them out, too. It's probably more valuable to the student, too. Sometimes right. it's harder yeah. to read Go information than it is All to... the Yeah, that's true. So, uh, what now? Probably... I think you should play one Atari 0012 just to false the incentive. That's good timing. Uh, okay. Let me send you a link to see one of those reviews. Just a moment. <clears throat> this is good timing. And then uh, if you push one time, let's see, Atari, Atari, Atari. Well, maybe it's good to make the shape now at K12, especially that you can jump after that and surround the other group. Yep. Um, so, do I have to respond to this? Mm, let's see. Push and block. Yeah, you should, but you should push first. P sixteen to okay. destroy the eye. I was trying to think between Q seventeen and P sixteen. So, but yeah. this is a 
game review between 11 and 12 QO block from um, OGS. Oh, what is this guy doing? You can cut and then connect. I mean, cut everything. P. P15. P15. Yeah. Yeah, and when he connects, you connect. When he cuts, you take all. Take the four stones. And I can show another interesting review. This is a 10-11 queue from IGS. And here are some life and death problems explained. Okay, enough with the study material. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of spam. Oh, we well win. done okay. on this one. Nice. <laughs> Keep on winning. I gotta go right. grab some dinner, and we'll see you next Sunday for sure. For sure. Yep. Thanks for the Have lesson. Have a good one. Yep. Thank you too. Hope hope to see you one done next time. So I beat a dumb player on four handicap. That's the plan. <laughs> All right. We'll see. Yep. Have a good one. Yeah. Take ciao, care. Ciao. Cheers. Bye. Bye. -bye. All right, and as I like to remind everybody, if you enjoy this content, um, you can support the content in several ways. One is watching it here on Twitch, being here, hanging out with me, laughing with me. Uh, you can also send bits, cheers. Bits and cheers are the same. You can subscribe, uh, donate. I do pay Cornell for his time, so every little bit helps. Uh, also, be sure to support Cornell on his channel, uh, twitch.tv slash CornellGo. If you are interested in lessons, the lessons are very, very valuable, and I think they're pretty reasonably priced. So you can hit Cornell up on Twitch as, at Cornell Go, of course. Um, IGS and KGS as Cornell, and OGS as Cornell11. Uh, any of those ways are good ways to contact him for lessons. Uh, yeah, very valuable. I went from like 11Q to around one dawn um, in about a year and a half, and then I'm kind of between the 1Q one down right now. But I'm an older student. It takes me a little bit longer to uh, learn things and have them sink in. But yeah, all of your support and all of the ways are much, much appreciated. Daniel101D, for sure, for sure. Uh, 